Welcome to Kuwait's Industrial Automation and Control Systems Cybersecurity Conference, KIAX Cybersecurity 2014, 25 through 26 May 2014. Hosted and organized by Equate Petrochemical Company in partnership with KPC. So, salam alaikum, good morning, and welcome, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the KIAX Cybersecurity CS Conference 2014. My name is Bex Atiani, and I'm going to be your host for the next two days, taking you through and introducing you to all of your key speakers, your panelists, and your moderators. I hope that you can all understand a good southern English accent, but if you cannot, do take me aside during any one of the breaks, and I will slow it down a little bit more. So, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome, and just a little reminder of the house rules. May we remind all of you to pop your mobiles onto silent, and remember, there is no smoking within the room. This is both for security and for health benefits. But you have been provided for. If you walk out of the main doors and turn left, there is a shaded area there for you all. Um, are there anybody that requires headphones for simultaneous translation? If you are, please raise your hand and wave to our lovely gentleman over there with the headphones, and they will be brought to you. Now, we also have prayer rooms, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to exit out of these doors to your left and all the way along the corridor, they're the last two rooms on the right-hand side. And of course, today, as, it, as tomorrow, is going to finish with a lucky draw. Three of you are going to walk away with one of our iPhones or iPads. So it is well worth ensuring that you are physically present here at 3.15. Why? Because the rules are, if you're not here, we draw again. Ladies and gentlemen, some of our presenters will have time for questions and answers today. In those cases, may we ask you to raise your hand, state your name, your company, and just your question. And by following this format, it will allow us to have more questions and more answers. So ladies and gentlemen, let's commence with the executive plenary session. And this is going to be on the importance of critical issues of cybersecurity, matters of industrial control systems, ICS. And here to moderate this session is Mohammed Hussain. Mohammed, please come and join us on stage. Of course, Mohammed Hussain is a Kuwait petrochemical company president and CEO. Please come and make yourself comfortable. Now, joining him this morning, we've got three panelists. So may I invite onto the stage, Mohammed al Mullah. <laughs> Dr. Mohammed al Mullah is the vice chairman and CEO of Qatar Petrochemical Company, QAPCO. Joining them is going to be Asad al Saad. Asad Al Saad is the CEO of Petrochemical Industries Company PIC and indeed the board chairman of the Kuwait National Petroleum Company KNPC. Welcome to you. And last but not least, Hashem Hashem. <laughs> Hashem Hashem is the CEO of the Kuwait oil company KOC. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome all of our panelists and our moderator this morning. This is where I hand over to Mohammed for the 30-minute panel discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, Mohammed Hussain. Just trying to manage as much as possible. Uh, again, I think, uh, again, good morning one more time. And uh, in this session, none of us, at least I claim myself, and I could claim the others, are specialists in this one. And maybe you wonder, what are you doing in this one? Then why they are sitting here? I think the purpose of what we're trying to do 
uh, to tell you this is part of our risk management. And uh, uh, each one of us have that risk, actually. And we are trying this panel just to talk about that risk side. So we are not going to talk about the technicality of the issue. We are talking about from business-wise, how we deal with such things, how we're really trying to react, how much we are giving support to the organization to really protect the organization from this is happening for us, God forbid, for that one. Again, uh, the way we're going to do it, I'm going to just sort of uh, facilitate the whole uh, session by making it very much it's a general discussion, as I said. It's very high level, and we're going to try to push as much as possible in that side of it. Just before doing that one, I have two slides uh, about Equate. And uh, reality, uh, what we're trying to say, why from Equate point of view, and don't ask questions because there's no question because I'm not going to answer it. Uh, I've been taught how to say this one, so I'm exactly going to say it the way they told me to say it. Uh, actually, in Equate, if you can see in the, in the past, uh, we had the separation between the control system and the desktop. And usually this is very helpful and really move in that direction. So there is still a lot of protection in the system itself. However, for a lot of good reasons, which is really we have to be more efficient, more effective, we need to link them. The data process and making sure you manage the data you have in the control system, because the wealth of the data and the control system is a tremendous. And this data is really very valuable to us. In the past, usually you have to download it separately. We don't have the really easy way to look at the data, to analyze the data which has created some difficulty to be more effective and better planning a process. And really, in the decision-making process to really be faster, we need to link them together. Not every organization have done this one. However, in Equate, we did that one. What's entailed that there is a connection now, which is we are really vulnerable for somebody, if it's access the system, could access the whole system in totality. And this is where we are really trying to see how can we make sure that doesn't happen. The second slide really is around something which is more of, hopefully I get the, other, the second slide to move on. Uh, can I get the second slide? Yes. Again, this is just an information, which is stating the obvious anyway. When I'm saying stating the obvious, this is what did happen. When Aramco been hit, 30,000 computers been impacted. So there are 30,000 computers been impacted, and really that virus had a huge impact. It's almost seized everything. Ras Gas, by the way, also been hit with the same issue in there. A hacker claimed responsible for the spread of the computer. Again, the attitude of the hacker, by the way, is changing. If you remember in the, in the, in the, in the case of Aramco, they told them, and they told the whole region, we are coming. So this is a new attitude we are seeing from the hackers too, which is really pushing with pride they are doing it. They are really saying, now come and do your job to protect it. But usually what did happen, this is already in there. So it's too late really to tackle it. Again, uh, it took weeks really to really, or a week really to make that happen and restore the whole data, which is a lot of effort, a lot of money incurred just to recover this one. And sometimes the cure it could have you having, but it will be costly if you, when you are really proactive in that side of it. This weakness is really allow us to stealing the information of intellectual property rights. And I think this is where the new target. The new target, the way we understand it today, is everybody pushing for the intellectual property right to go deep in that one. We are not talking about big data or the cloud yet. And these are something which is we have to move anyway if we want to be more mobile, we're going to be more effective, trying to make sure that's availability, which is we have to move. Then this is really will be happening more and more for people to be in that one. Again, this incident opened up for us and really drive us very much in there. So the panel today, it will go through this process of what are we doing? And I think let me start with Hashem because Hashem has to run very quickly and really have to move for another commitment. Uh, Bahmed, with no doubt, you are in KOC is a critical. You have the whole size of the oil movement and from the really deep reservoir to the export facility. 
and your system very much in there. What are you doing in KOC to really try to, as much as possible, again, from your side, I'm not talking about the technicality, to really prevent something from happening? With respect to the uh, information application and uh, business solution, since long time, KOC was very keen to have a proper security in this arena. And uh, where uh, the system of the security was uh, a key uh, item in uh, quite all company to ensure that our uh, business solution and uh, control system, uh, the measure of security of, 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 of this such application and uh, whether it's hardware or software, is one of the key items that we need to, conf uh, to ensure. Uh, two years back, when uh, the threat of cyber uh, security attack uh, happened in the in oil industry, uh, raised uh, a good flag in, 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 uh, in K company and especially in KOC. Delson Land, which has been uh, shown in the industry last two years, uh, raised the level of security in KOC where we reviewed back uh, all our uh, security system with respect to the information and uh, business solution, where we brought the best uh, industry of the security management, where the system being reviewed uh, and the control system being reviewed to, to see the, the gaps in the system. And uh, we uh, tried uh, as possible to close these gaps. But that's not enough. Uh, I think this uh, security uh, with cyber threat is evolving and emerging and uh, the arena in this area is uh, so much uh, evolving. And uh, we need to be uh, yani, uh, aware of all the upgrade, up updated, or advanced control system to ensure that uh, we are uh, coping the, the advance with this kind of threat. It's uh, a, a very challenging subject, and I think uh, that's one of the key uh, agenda of KOC to ensure that uh, the business continuity, especially now, the, the, the businesses cannot run without uh, this uh, integration and uh, business solution and uh, control system. Mohamed, you touched on a very critical point. You said business continuity, and I would like to jump to the Dr. Mullah, and I said, uh, you also, or at least it's been said in the media that Rask has been also hit with this one. How much do you think you are prepared for that one, and how can you also, what are you doing to ensure this business continue to be there? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف خلق الله سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Good morning to all of you uh, I would like to thank first the organizer for first time honestly I see here in the Gulf States where we are bringing IT with operation with automation which is a, a unique conference I have not seen it which is really a great opportunities for everybody just to understand there is a major link between, or there is today a one system which is IT, automation, operation, they come together and really having a great manageable in order to just minimize and have a mitigations of risk when it's come to operation. Honestly, in Qatar, I think uh, many years ago, we start to speak about what is the differences between IT and operations. And I remember when I joined oil and gas many years ago and with an electrical engineering background, at that time we, have, we used to have really a great separation between operation and IT. Then as automation businesses has been really greatly involved in the businesses itself and become really ties together, we brought both together. When it's come to sustainability in Qatar today, I think in oil and gas, we have really a great now uh, numbers of pillars which is introduced by Ministry of Oil and Gas to consider one of the risks really in our businesses is IT and automation. 
And uh, in Qatar, we just established uh, last year uh, a ministry, which is Ministry of uh, Telecommunication, which is, is the entities and the body which is really handling uh, anything related to IT security and IT cybering. Uh, the three grand challenges now in Qatar, when we speak about grand challenges of R&D and innovation, is number one is cyber security so we are taking care of it when it's come to how we as a oil and gas companies minimizing risk so we started to develop what is called r d in security in under uh, too many institutes in qatar which is uh, universities uh, plus some international institute which is they come to qatar and try to support us uh, but you say it's also from the petrochemical. We know the conditions we work under is very critical and usually high pressure uh, when you talk about ammonia and you talk about some deadly gases you deal with. Uh, and also from the KBC total. How you see our readiness? How you see really our preparation for such a cyber could really impact us and what we need to do? Bismillah uh, rahman rahim First of all, I want to second uh, Dr. Mohammed uh, Al-Mullah on uh, really being proud to attend one of the first uh, uh, conference on uh, IT and operation and business uh, security. Uh, uh, and I hope we'll uh, ga uh, get a lot of information out of this conference in the two days. Uh, in, in regard uh, to the security of our operation. Uh, you know, as uh, automation uh, get uh, advanced, uh, we tend to really be on risk, more risk, especially if we combine this with communication. Um, I think this is our experience, at least in PIC, uh, and I'm sure the K company had started this is to ensure that you have the right policy, the right procedure, uh, by getting this certification of uh, 27,001. Uh, this at least uh, guide you in having the right policy, the right procedure to protect yourself uh, from cyber attack. Uh, the, the, the second thing uh, which is uh, clearly important, and I, I think it was said earlier, is the collaboration between our IT and our business uh, owner or operators. The, this collaboration is very important because uh, the more uh, both have uh, certain objective and, and uh, let's say mission. And if you combine those two missions together and ensure security is really there, it's very important. So what we had done is we established a team between both parties to ensure that all the policies set ensure protection from attack. Um, uh, I well, think if you allow me, just I'm, I'm also seeing the watch now. It's running too fast, and I think faster well, than what I expected. If I can just ask you another question, just to continue what you are building in and move forward with this one here. Okay. We know when, what you have said, one thing from the policy side and the preparation of the policy. How much do you think we can share some of these policies? And what do you recommend, really, we can take this one to a level where really we can have the best possible policies built in all these organizations? I think the international standard, the ISO 27001, at least set a certain standard. But uh, this uh, is very important, what you said, uh, Abdullah. Uh, sharing uh, information, sharing best practice, uh, discuss, uh, discussion on you know, experience of attack, I think this is also very important. This will shape really our, our policy. From the lesson we learn on these attacks that happened to Aramco or to Rasgaz uh, or others, uh, really um, set out a line how can we protect ourselves. The, the, the one thing is very important is the awareness for both parties, the IT and the, our operator. They should be, you have to continue to aware, uh, giving them an uh, awareness program to ensure that they are up to date with the information, 
uh, that's uh, around us. And uh, but Abdullah, I don't know when I speak, the time runs fast, but when you speak, it's time. <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, Ahmed, just, uh, I think Abu Isa touched on a critical point when he talked about the collaboration and the people readiness. How do you think we can work together to really prepare our people to collaborate, to really ensure that this process of collaboration is something that's continuous and something really be able to share the knowledge among ourselves to ensure we are pushing all of that uh, threat away from this, uh, all our organization? As stated, uh, this is uh, become a, uh, a global for oil industry and uh, working together is a key to reduce the risk. Uh, collaboration in the care company itself first uh, with respect to ensure that there is cross-functional team between operation and IT expert uh, understanding what need more to be uh, added for the security item collaboration in the region itself and uh, this event I think one of the good event to uh, have a shared knowledge, uh, share best practice, understand uh, the, the, the region uh, in the oil sectors how or petrochemical and uh, then the, the oil industry are uh, practicing advancing uh, their uh, security measures uh, possibly to have uh, officially a kind of uh, non-profit uh, association similar to other uh, specific uh, functions such as uh, SPE it's non-profit uh, association or society that will be a kind of uh, good venue to uh, have uh, this collaboration, this practice, uh, advancement and of the threat or advancement in uh, uh, protecting the system will be a venue for discussion. I think this become a kind of critical subject that worth to have uh, a society uh, in the region maybe uh, to start with and uh, to have a, a, a supported uh, by the company such as uh, the big company or the Excellent. companies. Excellent. Mohamed, you are bringing an idea of trying to find the forms where this will be continuity of indulging in this discussion and knowledge sharing and making sure that's real practice. Dr. Mullah, you early alluded to some of this one when you said you are engaged with the academia, with the universities, and you're trying to build that collaboration. How far do you think we can extend this one maybe regionally and see how the academia in different uh, countries within the region and different companies can collaborate together to push for, as I said, the objective, which is all we are trying to seek at the end of the day? I think what, what we did honestly in oil and gas, and when we start to have this uh, type of uh, major risk many years ago, we start first internally to have this uh, just good communication between the business, IT, and operation. This is, was the first step. Sure, we coordinated and we collaborated with so many international institutes. Then, as it's becoming really seriously risky to an extent which is coming to the country level, so we started now to communicate between ministries and companies. Then at a later stage, six years ago, Qatar started to build more in R&D, and when we started building an R&D in Qatar, we said, what we have to do? We said we should come and check what is the main challenges in the state of Qatar. We came with about uh, 76 initiatives, and we screened them to the top three uh, initiatives, how we want to develop this in R&D with the academia. We came to the top three initiatives. Number one was uh, cyber security. Number two was water security. And the third one was energy security. So then we started to develop more in this area of R&D and uh, cyber security. We had in Qatar today more than 14 international universities, plus Qatar universities. And then we have a body which is taking care of R&D and coordinating with these four, 15 universities plus some colleges. Then they started to approach us in energy because 
The main sources today of most of uh, GCC's countries is coming from oil and gas. They approach us in the energy sector, so we start to coordinate, collaborate, and develop, develop more R&D in this area. Today, we have so many, honestly, area which has been developed by energy related to INT Cyprus with this academia in Qatar. Buisa, I think Dr. Mulla mentioned several times the R&D element. Do you think we can learn from that, or do you think we do have something part of the collaboration within Kuwait? And really, how you see this collaboration can be further uh, evolved with uh, other partners, not just in the regions, could be really going with uh, different specialized companies with our uh, IOCs and different uh, partners, which is we have working together with. I um, always believe in tapping into an R&D and getting the experience. Ahna, uh, we don't want to start thinking from the beginning and reinvent the wheel. We want to see where people had reached and we continue if we can do. And uh, uh, I think there is a lot of uh, uh, progress happened uh, in the R&D, especially in the cyber attack. If you remember, I just want to say an experience we had exactly almost last year, that time, if you remember, uh, Abdullah, they, we were threatened by an attack, I think it was in July, and that, that was even during Ramadan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, really implemented something that uh, been implemented through an R&D, I am sure. Uh, it's uh, implementation of a gateway level protection. And it uh, will let you see whoever come and hit you with attack uh, before it goes into your system and you can block it. Uh, and I, I don't really have the detail of that, but I think that one of the most important reason that we were protected that time from that uh, very dangerous threat. Again, I think, uh, I don't know why that time is tough for Buisa and doesn't stop for me, <laughs> but anyway, I will do my best in that one. I mean, uh, uh, Ahmed, just from, uh, again, uh, we are becoming really very tight with time. Uh, from next step, from uh, future looking at this issue to progress, if you are, but you, I know in, in your risk, uh, as Dr. Mullah said, this is number one for the risk, and I understand, I, I assume, same thing in KOC and PIC. For us in Equate also, this is really in the top of the risk uh, portfolio, which is we have in that one. Uh, what do you think is, is what we need to do more? How, how really we can, this one, from high level, I'm not talking about this one, but I'm saying, how much as a CEOs, let me put it this way, committed to support such initiatives, which is will come to make this happen at the end of the day? I think this is one of the key area for ensuring the business, business continuity and uh, showed how effective this threat uh, in uh, sees your, your business. And in KOC, uh, we are trying to ensure that we are updating our knowledge of all the evolving cyber threat uh, in the industry through engaging with international, international associations, experts in this area, uh, uh, trying to uh, update, advance our uh, control security system, uh, also trying to uh, engage in this kind of uh, collaboration and uh, conferences. Uh, try to uh, encourage uh, the, for example, if, if there is R&D area which uh, is, uh, is effective in this uh, arena that we can join them. So this is a, a key. Appreciate it very much. Sorry, I'm going to cut you off. Just if Buisa can give me quickly what you can say about that bit. Um, I think I second this. Uh, it's a. Um, it's a very important, uh, really, to aware the people what's going on. And uh, that uh, attack, cyber attack is very dangerous on our business continuity. Uh, I think I want people to 
do some more research. And if you remember, it was said earlier that uh, the Gulf country almost lose one billion uh, uh, dollar uh, a year uh, for uh, uh, from cyber attack. I think we should spend some money on the R and D, as Ms. Dr. Al Mulla said. Really, we should invest uh, and ensure that we tapped into a uh, company that have this uh, technology. And uh, the, for me, as a CEO, I want all my staff uh, that are involved in, in the operation uh, uh, automation and the people IT that support them, that they are really aware what's going on around the world and uh, they are updated to the, the, the last... Uh, Dr. Mullah, I think uh, we may emphasize it more as today the business of the world has been changed, it's automation in general and IT. I think we have to emphasize it very strongly in our curriculum in education. This is number one. I think culture changes and awareness is, is very important to everybody. And number three, I think as we are Gulf States, GCC, and we have so many bodies, and I think one of the greatest bodies which is most of us is working with today is Gulf Petrochemical and Chemical Association, yeah. could be also a good entities where we can bring so many initi initiatives and guidance and regulation, and also we can work together. Thank you. Uh, again, I think I uh, run out of time, actually, and uh, I have the signal from too many places stop, mm -hmm. and I think we will respect that one. Again, I think just for adding just the following uh, comment, I think the idea of the panel was to tell you how much is the leader in the organization are committed to this one. And I think this is where we're trying to promote, is that commitment to really make this happen at the end of the day. And I think this is what we're trying to push very hard in that one. We hear today about the education system, and I think we've been talking a lot about the education system and the need of people to be aware as early as possible. University, academia need to be involved more and more in this one here. And the magic word, I think, has been said here very clearly, and you see it from the movie, it is the culture. And that will be the difficult element for us to push the culture to be more able to be prepared, our people, to that agility, to that really vigilance, to be clear about what they are doing. They keep this always in their back mind, in their back mind. I remember this is something which is, will be a threat. We have to make sure who are dealing with and who are really we are working with, how we pass the information, how we exchange the information, how we can ensure this information is really moving to the right people and not in the hand of the wrong people. Again, uh, just I'm going to give each one one minute. What you wish from this conference, Wahmed? I wish uh, that a continuation of this type of uh, conference, especially this is very, the, the subject is very emerging and evolving. Uh, so I, th I wish that uh, people who's attending this get used the best to, out of it, sharing the knowledge, sharing the best practices, uh, trying really to formulate a society or association to to have this subject being structured and... What you say? No, I, I wish that uh, you come up at the end of the conference with a recommendation to uh, safeguard us uh, from cyber attack. Inshallah. Dr. Mullah? I don't think there is a safe side <laughs> from this. I think it's, as I said today, it's a great opportunities to bring everybody together. Good. IT, operation, business, and to discuss this great threat we have from risk point of view, I wish everybody after these two days when they sit together and they come with so many really conclusions and advices that what is the next step for GCC countries to come together with all these international companies and institutes, I see them here today. So I wish you the best, honestly, and more success in, within these two days. Share with me, thank you, Dr. Mullah. Thank you very much, Dr. Really appreciate it. Uh, Boisa, Saad, Saad, thank you very much. Mohamed Hashim, Hashim, really, thank you very much. I really appreciate it very much. I wish you and I wish all uh, this conference all the best. So thank you very much for being patient and involved with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, that was our panel discussion and many thanks to moderator Mohammed Hussain and indeed his panelists, Dr. Mohammed Al-Mullah, Assad Al-Saad and Hashem Hashem. Thank you, gentlemen. And well done, Mohammed. What a challenge with that timer. We were just testing to see your alertness. You did just fantastically well. Hosted and organized by Equate Petrochemical Company in partnership with KPC.